To find our average rate, we choose two parameters, A and B, and we draw a line to connect, connect them. And the slope of this line will be our average rate. To find the slope, we create a right angle triangle. And we know that the slope equal to rise over run. So once we know the number, then we can figure out. To find the instantaneous rate, we still pick up two points, but this time point A and B are close to each other. When they are extremely close, they are look like one point, and we zoom in. We can know y b is equal to f x plus delta x. There, the delta x is the slightly differences on exercises between the two points. And y a equal to f x. To find the slope. We use rise over run, and there the rise is y b minus y a, and the run is x b minus x a, and we follow the following steps to get the final equation. We want to find the average velocity between 2 seconds and 3 seconds. So we make this two points into a line and we want to find the slope of this line. The slope is a rise over 1. Uh, for this picture, y is a delta t and the 1 is a delta t. So we zoom in this part into here. Uh, we know V is the equal delta T over delta T. For instantaneous, we net delta T over, uh, toward zero. Uh, delta T is the equal T, T2 minus T1. We know T1 is a 2 and we pick a number uh, 2.001 as a T2. Um, and for uh, delta D, uh, delta D is a equal D, uh, D2 minus D1. We know D2 is a equal D2.001 uh, and D1 is a D2. So we put everything into uh, this this function, so V is a equal D uh, 2.001 zero, zero, minus D2 over 0.0. So the answer of this one is the instantaneous velocity at 2 seconds. As we can see the, the pendulum going up and down, and so then we have a, a, a constant function here. So uh, the x-axis is the time and uh, the y-axis is uh, the height of the pendulum. And uh, so we pick the two points, which is A and B. And the average rate between A and B is um, delta H divided by delta T. And we know um, it took two seconds to complete the period. Uh, 
um, at the moment of uh, fund A, it has a head of five, and uh, um, it took uh, it took a zero point three second to get there, and uh, at the moment of fund B, it has a height of three, and uh, which is uh, uh, one point four second. So the so then we can know that theta h is um, five minus two minus three, and the delta t is uh, one point four minus zero point three. Therefore, we can know that theta h divided by delta t. Five minus three divided by one point four minus zero point three, which is two over one point one, which is one point eight. Use the same function, we can uh, we said uh, the minimum point of the function is one pi, and the maximum function is two pi. And we know the vertical shift of this function is four, and we know the um, the amplitude is um, two. So then we can get the equation of um, two cos t plus four for this function. And to find the um, uh, the instantaneous rate of um, this specific point that we just picked it. Uh, we need to find the slope of uh, this function, which is our VT graph. So then we find the, uh, the slope of the, the first maximum point, which is uh, zero, so we pick the point here. And the second one here is uh, negative, and uh, it's negative. And uh, the third one is a um, is zero again, so we have the point here, and the third one is, um, is positive here, and the third one here is negative again. So then we connect all the points, and then we get the function here. And uh, for this uh, for this function, we know the uh, the equation is uh, negative two sine. If the function is two cosine t and plus four, then we know the slope of this function is negative two sine t. Furthermore, and. Um, we know the point has a 0 0.3 seconds, so we can just plug 0 0.3 seconds into this equation here, which is two, negative 2 sine 0 0.3, which is negative 0 0.01 is our answer for the slope of this point.